right, I've had a number of uh, requests on charging particulars on the Model 3, how to charge it, uh, what comes with the charge kit, charging 120 versus 240. So today we're going to go ahead and go through all of the particulars regarding charging the Model 3 and how the, the 120, 240 works, and I'll show you the screen that indicates how much state of charge you're getting or, or the rate of charge that you're, you're getting for each cord. So let's dig into it. All right, guys. So this is the charge kit that Tesla provides when you purchase a Model 3. And uh, by the strictest sense of the word, this is not a charger. It's, uh, it's just a charge cord assembly. So the, the charger itself is actually part of the car itself. So, but this is the charge cord that provides power into the car that the, powers, that the car is looking for in order to charge properly. So let's take a peek at what's inside the bag here. So you open it up and there are, um, there's quite a bit inside. You've got the cord itself and three adapters. So it's probably easier to um, pull these out individually. Uh, let's see here. There's the adapters. So the cord consists of this component with the end and I believe it's a 20 foot long cord in between. Uh, this is obviously the end that you plug into the car and um, this is not a charger. This is, all this really is, is a relay box. And um, what you do is you plug in one of these adapters. You've got a NEMA 1450 220 adapter. And then you've got a standard 120 volt wall outlet adapter. Now each one of these plugs into the top of this relay box for the charge cord. So you take the adapter you want to use, you plug it in to the top of the box and you're ready to go. So that's the 120 volt adapter and uh, like I said here's the 240 uh, NEMA 1450 adapter. These are the same, uh, the same plug as you would find at an RV, like a camping place. So uh, and I, I'm pretty sure that Tesla did this on purpose so that you can be at a campground with the car and power the car off of a normal camper outlet. Plus, it's a convenient outlet. It's a high current, you know, 240 volt um, outlet. So that's that. Uh, this third adapter is it allows you to, um, to forget the charge cord itself and plug the car into a normal, um, just a, a normal, J1772 public charger at a public charging station. So if you look, the end of both of these are the same. So this plugs into the car and it will actually latch into the car and then you can plug a normal public charging station uh, charge cord into this. So uh, when you purchase the car, at least uh, at my uh, initial delivery, I was told it's best to put this in the glove box of the car because it's not something you're ever going to use at home. And if you're not bringing your char charge cord with you and you're out and about, you might find a public charging station. It would be a bummer to have this left in your bag. So that's what I normally do is leave this in the glove box, which is what they tell you to do. So I'm going to go ahead and package this back up and let's head outside and I'll show you how to charge the car both on 240 and on 120. Pretty simple. I'm also going to walk you through the indicator light uh, on the car, on the side of the car by the charge port that lets you know uh, what's going on. I'll show you what you know, errors can give and also I've had people ask about the charge speed when charging at 120 volts. So let's go outside and take a look. All right, so we've got our charge bag. One thing I neglected to uh, point out a minute ago is that this is a charge cord kit that you can purchase separately from Tesla. It's $300. I'm probably going to buy a spare and leave it in the car at all times for two reasons. One, if this, if there's a problem with this charge cord, my car may not charge. I, I'd be stuck. I'd have to make a special trip 45 minutes away to the nearest Tesla store to get another, another bag, another charge bag. Uh, secondly, if um, if we go on a vacation or something and I forget this at home. 
then I'm stuck using public charging stations. So I think it'd be wise for me to always have one, almost like having jumper cables in your car. So anyway, let's go ahead and open it up here. Oh, also, I have my NEMA 1450 cord here and a standard uh, outlet. Now, I know people in the comments section are gonna say, don't ever use an extension cord on a charger. I understand why they say that, but a couple of things regarding that. Uh, first off, though this, this is a NEMA 1450 extension cord that I purchased uh, for charging the car, but I'm not actually using it as an extension cord. It, strictly speaking, an extension cord extends from one outlet to the next. This cord, the other end of it, the male end, is not plugged into an outlet. It's actually hardwired directly to my fuse box. So, um, and this cord has eight gauge wire. It is way overkill for this. So that's that, it stays nice and cool. The charge cord to the car gets warm. This stays nice and cool. And then also this 120 volt, um, this isn't, this is uh, a shop cord. It's a cord reel that's hardwired as well. And it's overkill for what uh, the purposes we have here. But also I don't use, 120 volt charging, but I just pulled it out so I could show you guys. So there's your disclaimer. So again, here's the um, NEMA 1450 240 adapter, the 120 volt adapter, and then we've got the J1772 charge station adapter and our, our cord. So first thing I'm going to do, plug this in. So we'll do our 240 charging first. So we've got our NEMA 1450 outlet there. So plug that in nice and solidly. Now we'll take our cord and plug that into the... Sorry for shaking the camera around here. So we'll press the button to open the charge door. Now you'll notice the Tesla T is just white right now or light blue. When you plug in, it turns dark blue and then it goes to green flashing. The green, the dark blue is that it is initializing and trying to read and make sure that it's plugged in properly. The green flashing lets you know it's charging. Now, the speed at which the green light flashes tells you the rate at which it's charging. So when it's charging slowly, it just pulses slowly. When it's charging very fast, it pulses really quickly. And you'll see the quick pulsing, um, well, it's not, the battery's not low enough to give a quick pulse, but um, but anyway, that's, uh, the battery's at about 50% state of charge. If it was a lower state of charge, this would be pulsing very rapidly. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead to the inside of the car and I'll show you what the screen looks like while charging on 240. So now it's charging at roughly 26 miles per hour plugged in and now it's at 27 miles per hour. It's at 32 amps is the charging current, uh, 240 volts. So um, that's at 240 uh, input. You can see I'm at about 50% state of charge, which is a low enough charge state that it's you know, pulling a halfway decent uh, rate, decent m amount of amperage. So let's go ahead and um, put on the 120 volt adapter and see how that goes. All right, so change this over. Put on our 120 volt adapter here. And in a very similar way, we plug it into a cord. There we go. We've got power to the box. So now let's go ahead and plug into the car. So there we go. And again, we've got the white or very light blue Tesla T. Now when I plug in, you'll notice it'll turn dark blue. There's the dark blue, it's analyzing the charge cord. Charge cord clicked, and now we've got the pulsing. So let's go inside the car and see what our rate of charge is on 120. What we've got here is currently at the, um, on 120 volts, you can see here it's actually reading 112 to 113 volts. It skips up back and forth. And currently 12 amps, which would give us 13 miles for every hour it's plugged in. And if you look up here, if we were to leave it plugged in, it would give us 16 and a half to 17 hours or so 
uh, to fully char or to charge to my 80% limit if we left it on here. Now it will slowly climb. Uh, typically I see a max of about four miles for every hour it's plugged in. And, um, but again, that's, this is what it looks like on 120 volts. So again, typically I would see four miles for every hour. That is one thing being plugged into that, that, uh, that cord, it does slow it down a little bit because normally this would be up at 120 or 122 volts. So you do lose a little bit of voltage when you're using a, an extension cord like I have with that reel. I go back to, I don't charge on that, so it doesn't really matter. This is just for display purposes, but it has gone up to now four miles for every hour it's plugged in. So if you drive you know, 50, 60 miles in a day, you plug in at night, 120 volt charging would be just fine. But since I had access to 240 at my home, I went ahead and decided to use the 240. So you can also, one other thing here, you can see that the icon shows here that it's the charge port door is locked or the charge port. So if someone came by and tried to unplug the, um, the charge cord from the car, it's locked and it won't come out. And um, so let's go ahead and um, unplug it and I'll, I'll show you the, uh, what some of the errors are that you can get if you don't plug it in correctly. All right, so I'm going to zoom in on the Tesla T, get the water off. It's a little rainy today, so you can see the T pulsing. I'll push the button, which that's another thing too. In order to unplug the cord, you put your thumb on this circle. Should have shown this earlier. You press that, it unlocks, changes the T back, and you can unplug it. And that button also unlocks the charge port door. So now that it's closed, if I press this button, uh, I will plug it in and I'll plug it in kind of wonky on an angle so it senses that it's now the, not all the way plugged in. So you see how it went to orange. And if you can hear that, the lock is trying to lock and unlock. That's a charge port error. So if I unplug it, so we're at white again and we're back to charging normally. So uh, a red error means, hey, there was a major fault and I really don't wanna let you charge. An orange error, flashing error means that it's not communicating properly. It thinks there's a fault and to remove the cord. And But we're back to green flashing just from unplugging it, letting the system reset and plugging it back in. So go ahead and unplug that. Anyway, thanks guys, it was a simple I know just a simple charging video, but something I wanted to show you guys. And uh, feel free to ask me any questions that you'd like. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, do what you got to do. And, uh, you know, not the most exciting video, but I've had so many questions about charging the Model 3 that I wanted to go ahead and make this video. So anyway, you guys have a good one. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.